going on guys? Brendan King, I'm a uh, unemployed chef because of this COVID issue. Uh, so I'm taking my time to do something different, start a little something new. Uh, this YouTube channel accompanies my Instagram and my blog, I Run Chef. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use this time to learn a new skill, do some videos, editing, teach a few uh, recipes, just kind of let you in on my world. Um, just hanging out in my kitchen for the current moment. Uh, I think we're gonna dive a little deeper into what's in here. Um, show you what I've bought as far as um, provisions for quarantine and uh, let you know how I'm cooking it up. So I guess I'll just start with my cabinets. Those are just some tools and equipment. It's a mess, don't worry, don't mind that. And into my dry storage. So one thing I was trying to keep in mind was nutrition uh, and caloric density. Um, so don't mind these Reese's. Those are for when times are really tough. Uh, but we got some crispy parm chips, some rice just as a filler. Uh, but otherwise, I like to stay pretty low carb. We have paleo pancakes in case uh, my wife is needing a little break from healthy food. Uh, we got some red lentil penne. That's kind of just for just in case as well. Um, high in carbs, but it should last in as long as this uh, situation does. These are dried porcinis, compliments of a friend in Poland. Macadamia nuts, high in fat, high in nutrition. Also, some Brazil nuts. Again, also high in fat, high in nutrition. Some super greens. Some olives back there, I don't know if you can see them. Again, high in fat. Some jams and jellies, some canned soups. Tomatoes, black beans, again, slow carbs on the black beans. A few snacks down low, artichokes, some more tomato stuff, some almonds, more black beans. Uh, one of my favorites back there hiding, the coconut milk. A few pre-made sauces just for quick meals. Some peanut butter for my wife. A chocolate stash is mine. That is one of my favorites. Definitely a guilty pleasure. Actually, it's dark chocolate. It's not that guilty at all. Actually, it's really good for you. In moderation, of course. And then under this dry storage, it's a lot of spices, everything bagel spice, salt, just some pantry spices, Goya adobo, Primal Kitchen dressing, of course. Tons of canned tuna. Uh, and hiding back there, we have some other canned fish, some mackerel. I think there's some sardines in there. Again, stuff that will last, but also high in caloric density and nutritional value. And then my coffee uh, and my wife's coffee. Uh, I don't know how to be a human without it. Speaking of coffee, this is my setup for in the mornings. Rebel grinder, Rebel barista, espresso machine, AeroPress, a mocha pot, Chemex, French press, Othello uh, for espresso press attachment on the AeroPress, and we also have a fellow kettle down low electric and another drip pot. Got a bunch of memorabilia on the fridge because it only makes sense. Actually right now I'll show you in the oven some spaghetti squash for dinner later. Not gonna unload the freezer completely because there's a lot of stuff in here right now. But some of the highlights of uh, quarantine cooking include lots of frozen vegetables, 
Got some meats from one of my favorite local butchers. Some Copa pork steaks. A couple packs of chicken livers. Uh, some ground beef, all from Primal Supply in South Philadelphia. Uh, mashed cauliflower. Uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, some other vegetables back there. Broccoli, uh, cauliflower, those sorts of things. Uh, just trying to stay as healthy as we can and get some nutrients from real food. Finding a bunch of my cookbooks as well. A big library. And my wife is holding the toilet paper up top. So I guess what I'm really looking forward to with this um, in my time off is showing how just a random group of ingredients can turn into uh, really nice meals on a on a day to day basis without having to spend too much money, uh, without having to uh, do too much extra prep, um, and how to kind of combine all this stuff um, so that it makes sense uh, and you don't have to just eat bags of ramen noodles every day. All right, so what's going on tonight's dinner? Uh, as you saw earlier, the spaghetti squash was in the oven. Uh, these are just a few of the things I found laying around. Uh, this pork, however, uh, big quarantine tip right here. This was from a pork shoulder. I think I spent about $18 on it. This is gonna be at least the fourth or fifth meal that my wife and I have eaten off of it. All of them is different. We did tacos one day. Um, we did it with uh, tomato sauce another day uh, to do with, with the stuffed eggplant. So there's a lot of good that you can do from just having a uh, pork butt braised off. Uh, tonight we're gonna do it with these dates, some garlic, some lemon, pistachios, uh, butter, and this Rogan Josh spice mix from Penzi's. You'll see it's a mixture of Paprika, garlic, ginger, cumin, coriander, black pepper, cayenne, cinnamon, cardamom, clove, and saffron. So we're going for a sort of Moroccan feel tonight uh, with that spaghetti squash. I also have the remaining juice, or jus rather, that we cook the pork in uh, in case I need a, any other extra liquid. See some onions in here that cooked in with it also. So that's tonight's dinner, a uh, little bit of a Moroccan feel, something fresh, and we'll see how that turns out. I'm just gonna cut up a couple of these dates, just cut them into rounds. Nothing too fancy, just spread them out amongst the uh, squash once we get that out of the oven. I'm sure you'll notice my pants are Pittsburgh Steelers. My refrigerator was covered in penguins memorabilia. Pittsburgh boy living in Philly, missing home as always. So guys, I just wanted to show you how easy uh, spaghetti squash really is. All I did was cut the top off of it before, uh, cut it in half, scooped out the seeds, and then when it's all cooked, just scoop out the center. Now oh, it just came out of the oven. I'm just going to grab a towel. See if we can get that done. So just added some uh, Kerrygold Irish, but um, Irish butter to the pan. And I'm gonna add more of that garlic that we had started with earlier. And really guys, I, I know that sounds maybe a little bit more complicated than you might want to take on for a dinner right now, but I promise all this stuff was just uh, hanging out and there was no plan ahead of time. Um, and I will make sure I have recipes in the future uh, and do stuff that's a little less intimidating, I suppose. Uh, but really, uh, this is just showing you how 
help you just think outside the box a little bit. You don't have to repeat the same thing over and over. You can see in the back, the pork is heating up with the dates, some garlic, and some of the stock that came off the cooking of the pork in the first place. And up front, the butter is starting to get a little brown, and it, uh, oh, it's getting really aromatic. And what we're looking for is for the foaminess of that butter to subside. That's really the best time to start cooking with brown butter. We also don't want to burn our uh, garlic. It <clears throat> is one of the worst flavors imaginable. So now that our butter is subsided, we can add the good stuff. And also, I roasted the squash in the same pan in the oven, so I'm remembering to hold on to it. We're not trying to make a thousand dishes here. And then salt. Brown black pepper. Squeeze that lemon that we had earlier. The other half of that lemon went into dinner last night. Sort of last second, I decided I was also going to add some capers if I could get a small enough spoon. And of course, pistachios. The last two flourishes, a little pinch of sumac. Again, these are just pantry items that I've had used it for something else at one point or another in the past. Just have it hanging around. And the last of my microgreens. <clears throat> which are from a local farm that I was using at the hotel and couldn't bear to get rid of before we left. So that's it. Marry me. <laughs> I already did. It is delish, people. Don't just talk to them like that. Why? Just talk to me. I don't know. <laughs> I can talk to the internet people. I guess. I don't know how this works yet. So it's good though? Mm hmm Delicious. What do you like? Love the spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I love all of it. And that this pork has lasted four or five meals. Mm -hmm.
It's pretty dope. Pretty dope. When have you ever said that before? <laughs> Quarantine cooking. <laughs> Quarantine cooking compliments of Iron Chef. No goofy faces. Why? Come on. Because I want people to watch oh. the channel. I don't want to scare them off. They're, all they're going to do is request to see me and then I'll have to create a channel. No. All right, guys, so I guess this is the end of the first video. I'm gonna do a little editing, or try, figure out what that's all about. <laughs> I guess we're putting up deuces. Peace <laughs> out. And uh, whether you like this video or not, why don't you click like and subscribe? And I'm sure they'll get better as we go. <laughs>